10 gig adapters. As we talked about in a previous video, a 10 gig ethernet connection can get you connected to network attached storage. This enables access to massive amounts of storage over an incredibly fast connection, which moves at 1250 megabytes per second. Now, if you're fortunate enough to be working on a new Mac studio, then you have a native 10 gig port on your computer. But what if you have a laptop that doesn't have a 10 gig connection? Should the fact that you work on a MacBook Pro keep you from the wonderful world of network attached storage? Of course not. That's where 10 gig adapters come into play. There are lots of 10 gig adapters on the market. And in this video, I wanna help you make an informed decision on which one to buy. Today, we're gonna to talk about a bus powered option and an AC powered option. Now, as a reminder, bus powered means the power for the adapter comes from your computer and AC powered means we're plugging into a wall. Now, it's important to remember that your computer must be Thunderbolt 3 or 4 capable, which is a connection rated at 40 gigabits per second, which equates to approximately 5,000 megabytes per second, which is crucial to supporting your 10 gig connection, which is 1,250 megabytes per second. The first 10 gig adapter we're gonna talk about is the Thunderbolt 3 10G Ethernet adapter. This is a bus powered option and it adds 10 gig ethernet connectivity to Thunderbolt 3 equipped computers that lack the built-in capabilities. Maybe you're a person who uses the laptop for photo editing and you've decided to move a lot of your files onto a network attached storage system and you require a really fast connection. Well, this bus powered option might be perfect for you. Another thing to note about the 10G adapter is that it is completely driverless for Mac OS 10.14 to 12. So this is a really big feature for someone connecting a 10 gig adapter to their laptop. It's really truly plug and play. You may ask yourself when you look at this, why is this 10 gig adapter so big when it's sitting next to a laptop? It just does one thing. Well, fast connections like 10 gig generate a lot of heat and the OWC 10G adapter is designed from the ground up to dissipate heat. So you will not be thermally throttled. Thermally throttled is when your connection slows down because things are too hot. It will keep you connected all day through any workload so if you already have one of our docs and you need to add 10G connectivity to your laptop or desktop, the bus powered 10G adapter is the tool for you. And if you don't have one of our docs, that's where the Thunderbolt Pro dock comes into play. When you're accessing network attached storage solutions like the Jellyfish by OWC, and you're hitting that system hard for a long time, you need performance that can last now the Thunderbolt Pro Dock also dissipates heat in addition to leveling up your workflow because it gives you so many other pro level ports. You can ingest raw video and photo files at speeds up to 1630 megabytes per second, which is effectively as fast as a CF Express type B card can go. All you red Raptor shooters out there, our CF Express Ultra cards are red approved for use in the Raptor, so we wanna hear from you. Moving on, you can collaborate in a shared workflow environment like a Jellyfish from OWC with that 10 gig ethernet port to keep your project streaming from file setup to final renders with headroom to spare. And the Thunderbolt Pro Dock allows you to add an 8K display or create a panoramic dual 4K display. You can daisy chain up to five Thunderbolt devices all while powering your laptop and managing the typical USB devices you need to get the job done. The Thunderbolt Pro Dock is really a spectacular piece of equipment. The ports and the capabilities on this piece of tech are absolutely just what the doctor ordered. That's all for today. From everyone here at OWC, thank you so much for watching and happy workflow.